Yo, what up? It's Don. Family here. We are the Soul Brothers, and you know this. And we're back up in it with another versus video, of course. Okay, we're gonna do the Nike Kobe 11 versus the Under Armour Curry 2. Yep. So let's hop right in on that traction. Uh, in the Kobe 11, we have a translucent outsole in the colorway that I have, which is the, the first colorway, the, the Achilles. Mm -hmm. It's red. Some of the other colorways are solid, so I, I'm not sure about those. The traction in the 11 was not great for me at all. Picked up a lot of dust. The the pattern is actually a new pattern they're doing. It's not herringbone. It's not what they're doing in the 9. It's not what they were doing in the 10. It's just kind of lines. And uh, it did not perform great at all. Traction was super bummer in, in that shoe for me. Yeah. If you're playing on clean courts, it's probably going to be pretty good. On clean courts, it, it was pretty good for me. But... We play at 24 hour fitness and sometimes it's dusty. Sometimes it's clean, they've been getting better. But when it's dusty, it's super inconsistent. You can wipe and get a few grips, but then it goes away really fast. Yep. Okay, what about uh, what about the curry? So the curry twos, um, you do have to break in the, uh, the traction uh, for maybe a few games. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, yeah, at first it's super bad, but then once you uh, break in the traction i've never really experienced that but you have kind of have to break it in but once you break it in it's super nice the rubber also grips the floor uh, really well you stop really hard and fast so um no complaints there the only problem is uh dust so if you're playing on the dusty floor you do have to wipe not as frequently as the kobe 11 because the kobe 11 is a dust magnet yeah you know it's kind of me me and girls you know i just <laughs> but you know um uh what was i saying oh yeah so the curry two um uh, beats the Kobe 11. If you're playing on a clean court, they're both super nice. You stop really hard and they're both super duper squeaky. But um, if you're playing on a dusty court, I would definitely pick the Curry 2 over the Kobe 11. Yeah. You know? Even though you do still have to wipe a good amount of Curry 2s, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, the win goes to the Curry 2s. Okay, moving on to the cushion. So in the Kobe 11, we have a drop-in midsole with, which is all lunar lawn, full-length lunar lawn, with free technology in the forefoot, which uh, allows you to for better movement. <clears throat> and it has a big zoom unit in the heel. Yep. Really thick, really nice. You can feel a lot of bounce off it. I loved that. The forefoot was a little thin for me. One of the thinnest forefoots I've felt in a while, which is great if you want a lot of court feel. And overall, you feel really, really low to the ground, which is nice too. For the Curry 2s, they use a full length uh, charge setup. So, uh, not my favorite at all. You get a good amount of court feel, but impact protection isn't the best. Um, I do get shin splints if I play in these shoes for a long ass time. Um, so, impact protection isn't the best. And it's not bouncy at all, you know? Uh, it's not like zoom or bounce at all. It's a very stiff kind of, it, it's a little softer than Phylon, you know? But then it's still not like, uh, it's the softest cushion, you know, no, but then sure. the insole, um, the footbed, uh, the insole is actually stitched into the um, shoe so you can't take it out, but uh, it feels very nice. It feels like a memory foam, so step in comfort is really nice. Yeah, just walking around in that shoe, yeah, that's going to win there, Yeah, but you know, that's not what we're, really what we're measuring. As mm -hmm. far as cushion goes, I would go with the 11. Yep, same with me. Okay, um, so I, that's a win for the Kobe. Yeah, I enjoyed the Kobe 11. Right. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the uppers in the Kobe 11, we have uh, full length fly knit and it's reinforced with these TPU threads. Um, it's threaded through the whole shoe and uh, there is fly wire, uh, which is great, great for lockdown. The fly knit isn't as soft as most runners. Uh, if you've never had basketball fly knit before, it's a little harder. It's not as hard as it was in the nines and uh but it's 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 pretty nice i wasn't mad at it at all mm -hmm. so in the curry twos they use a uh, speed form in the ankle collar area which is super thin and uh it's a basically cloth like material it's kind of glued down and then in the forefoot area they use a synthetic um kind of material it's actually not stiff at all uh not like hyperfuse even even when you first get it it's not that stiff mm -hmm. and then once you break it in it gets a lot softer uh, which i wasn't you know uh upset at that setup at all you know uh, I actually enjoyed it uh, one reason why I enjoyed it so much was just because the fit was so nice which we'll get into after this but um, just just strictly materials I would go with the Kobe 11s 
Yeah, me yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to fit, support, lockdown, all that. The fit in the Kobe was really good. The uh, Kobe's always have really, really good fit. The support is uh, great where there is, you know, the upper, the support, it's a low. So there's no ankle support whatsoever. And if you're, if you're into that, then it's a really great shoe. I personally need ankle support. And uh, the lockdown is always really good in Kobe's too. Lockdown was, you know, a 10. And uh, what about the Curry's? The Curry's, the, the fit was amazing. It felt like it was made for my foot. So I, uh, I think we have similar feet to, uh, to Stephen Curry because our foot fits the shoe very well, right? It feels like it was made for my foot. Um, it feels very streamlined. It's a super light shoe. And just because the fit is so nice, I enjoy the materials very, uh, very much. Just because there was no dead space or anything in the, the shoe for me, you know? Yeah. So the fit, I think for me, I would take the Curry 2s over the Kobe 11. Me too. Uh-huh. And then uh, for support, uh, I would take the Curry 2s over the Kobe 11. Just because there's also an uh, ankle support in it. And also it was designed for ankle brace. So if you do wear an ankle brace, you cannot roll your ankle. Yeah. Uh, no matter how hard you try. Right. Uh, in my experience. And then uh, lockdown, uh, I'll give it a tie. They're both super nice. My foot was not moving at all in the forefoot in both shoes, and there was no heel slippage for me at all in both shoes. So right, yeah, lockdown's pretty much a tie in both categories, but everywhere else, it's it's the Curry Two, yeah. one of the best fitting shoes in a long time for uh, for us. Now moving on to ventilation, I would say the Colby maybe a little bit. Yeah, the Curry uh, Twos um, was. There's really no airflow. There's ventilation holes, but it's not fully a hole. It's just like perforated a little bit. Yeah, it's a super thin upper yeah, though. Yeah, that's why. It's, which is nice. Yeah, so it's super thin, and the moisture uh, is absorbed by the uh, speed form material, so it dries off, and then it's not super hot in those. But Kobe Eleven does have airflow, so that's why the Kobe Eleven wins. Yeah, it's it's super thin. It's a knit, and it's a low, so it's it's gonna take the win there for ventilation mm -hmm. durability. This is kind of tough. We haven't played in the Kobe's obviously for super long. They just came out, but both shoes are extremely well made. <clears throat> if you're gonna play in outdoors in any of them, I would I would choose the Curry Two. Um, the grooves on it, the, the rubber is a little soft, not crazy soft though. Yeah, it's pretty. It's it's not it, soft at all. It's actually. like kind of medium to me, you know. <clears throat> but the grooves are really really thick. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we don't play outdoors, so. Take the outdoor comments with a grain of salt but um so d as far as all around durability it's kind of tough the upper on the colby's is, is really nice and seems like it would be dur durable it is a knit I, I would probably lean a little bit towards the curry too mm -hmm. for durability yeah the, the, i think the uppers are uh, both very durable i think but then the, the traction if you play outdoors would go to the curry yeah you know? for sure so that's why it goes to the curry's um aesthetics Ooh, I go Kobe 11. Curry 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dope ass silhouette, especially with some colorways. Not saying the Kobe 11 looks bad, but um, in my opinion, I just love the way it looks. Here's a question Would you rock this off court? I would not rock these off court. Would you rock the Kobe's off court? No, because they're fucking expensive. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> would you rock the Kobe's? Colorways, like, you have two shoes. Okay. Which one would you rock off court? My Pure Boost. No. Okay, fine. Kobe 11. Yeah, Goddamn. see? <laughs> Checkmate, homie. Kobe 11. Yeah, the, okay. Kobe, the Kobe 11 <laughs> is a great looking shoe, but I would personally wear them, you know, I wear them casually. Yeah. They're dope, but, you know, it's a nice looking shoe. So, whatever. Let us know what you guys think. Moving on, we're going to wrap it up. Price wise, that's a big win for the Curry. Yeah, 130 okay. versus 200. Yeah, that's the, the, the Kobe is definitely overpriced. If I had to pick a shoe to play in, I personally would pick the Curry 2 be because ankle support is a big factor for me and the fit is great. Um, you know, lows, I, I, I never really choose to play in lows. Although I think um, the Kobe's may have won a lot of the categories, may have even won on paper. Mm -hmm. I personally would pick the Curry 2. Yeah, just because the Kobe's um, won in the categories, if it won in the category, it was just by a little bit. Yeah. You know, and also the traction was just, just so bad for for me, you know, yeah. where um, we play it was super dusty. So, um, yeah, some people were saying it wasn't bad for you. Uh, that's good. Uh, I'm glad it worked out for you. But for us, it was just bad. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would definitely rather, same reasons as him, I would definitely play in the Curry Keys. Okay, cool. Yeah, so there it is. That's our Versus video. Hope we helped you guys out. We thank you guys for the support. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that if you can. 
Uh, here's our social media stuff if you want to check us out further, our website. And uh, my name is Don. Same with me here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Peace. Hey.